My name is Tim Gerhardt and I'm from Lapstrong. Today we're going to replace the thermistor assembly in the Fistream 3 system. This is a Fistream 8 liter, the Fistream 4 liter by distiller, and the Fistream 4 liter system is pretty much the same as far as the thermistor removal and replacement of that. So we're just going the system is disconnected from power you want to remove the thermistor so you want to grab a hold of right in this area where the glass thermistor is protruding out this heat shrink you don't want to grab back here because you can pull the core right out of it so you just want to grab a hold of where the glass is and then slowly kind of rotate the thermistor now that we have the thermistors disconnected from the console level device we need to actually get to the cables in the back of the unit so we're going to need to remove the back panel Now that we have the thermistor removed from the glassware, which is the console level device, we're going to need to cut this cable tie to be able to pull the cable back through once, and we have it disconnected from the board. So we're going to go ahead and cut this cable tie. Once it's cut, you're going to route this cable through this eye hook out from the back of where the PC board is and then route it out back through the grommet, which we'll show you. We have the thermistor removed from the glass. We have the back of the unit removed and we've taken the wire ties off so that we can disassemble the cable from the back. But now we have to take it off the, pr the printed circuit board on the right hand side of the unit. So we're going to remove the right side panel. Set the panel to the side. The mister connection is right here. The connector is J2. It's got a clip on the side that keeps the connector from being pulled out. So it's a retaining clip, so you need to push on the side of the retaining clip to release it and then simply pull out on the thermistor and you've got your two cables. Thermistor on the right hand side, thermistor on the left hand side. Now we're going to remove the thermistor. Okay, for demonstration purposes I've already removed one thermistor so it makes it easier to see how these are removed. We're going to take a flathead screwdriver, very small, and into these slotted holes right here, there's a release pin that's part of the connector for the wire on the thermistor. So you're gonna to need to push in on that, and as you're pushing in on it, you need to pull back on the cable, and that releases that cable. There's a little clip right there on the side of that connector. You do the same thing for the other one, just push down on it lightly, and pull back on the wire, and it pulls right back out. And that's what's actually sticking in these holes here so that when you push this connector on the pins it doesn't push the wire back out. From the back of the still this is the area that you're going to actually route your cable through for the thermistor to connect it up to your main print circuit board. Okay now that we have the cable cut ties cut and we have it routed through the eye hook we're going to go ahead and pull the cable back out from where the PC board is so we can pull it through the grommet. Now that we have it disconnected we have all of our ties disconnected we're going to Pull the old thermistor back through the grommet from the front side and simply work the wires through and help them a little bit get, get through their grommet and then pull it back out through the front. Now that we removed the, the old thermistor, we're going to place the new thermistor through the grommet with the, with the wire end first, place it through the grommet all the way through. Now that we have the new thermistor routed through the grommet, we're going to route this new thermistor over in this location so we can get back to the printed circuit board to connect it up to J2 and that connector that's in the circuit board. 
Now that we removed the thermistor, we're going to install the new one and always make sure that the thermistor has two sides to this connector. It's got the spring side of it, which keeps the nice and, ten nice and tension on the connector itself. And then there's an actual clip right here that you can't really see, but it actually sticks out a little bit here on each of these connectors. That little clip goes into this slotted hole right here, and that keeps the wire from pulling out when you push the connector into the hole into the pins on the board that go up through here. So you're going to need to take the spring side of it goes away from the slotted holes and the clip side which is part of this piece right here goes up in onto those square holes. So you push in on the wire and you hear a click, pull back on it and you know it's snapped in place and it's not going to come out when you put the connector onto the board. Next one, do the same thing. Simply push in on it, hear it snap pull back on them both, you know that they're in place. Now you can go ahead and put it onto the board and it's not going to push these out when the pins go up inside of here. Now that we have the cable routed back through the, for the thermistor, we have it connected back up to this connection right here. We're going to make sure that we put the connector on with these two slide pins right here. Go down along this rail right here where this piece of plastic is sticking out. So that goes down over those four pins and it positions it right where we need to be so you're not up one or down one, you're right on. And when you push it down in, it should slide in, it'll slide back and stay there so it's locked in place. Now that you have the thermistor connected to J2 on the main board, we're going to go ahead and attach the right side panel back onto the unit. Now that we have the thermistors routed back through the back of the unit, attached to the PC board and the right side panel is back on. Now we're going to go ahead and reattach the back panel onto the unit. Take your thermistor, you can put a little bit of water on the thermistor make that easier to slide inside. You slide that in so that it protrudes inside and it can sense the water level. Now that you have the thermistor installed into the system, we're going to replace the door, which you set aside earlier. Now we're going to go ahead and take the door, take the top, locate the slotted hole up on the top, slide it up inside, push the bottom in, let it fall down into the slotted hole at the bottom your doors in place. Now the system is operational. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.